peacefully. You ask me, Sheikh, is this halal or haram? Halal. It's your right. Enjoy it. Okay? When you ask me in any of those uh, Muslim countries, you gather and you demonstrate and they will shoot you right in the brains. Halal or haram. You put in your life at risk. You jeopardize in your safety. Okay? So do not take it for granted as a single answer. Yeah, all the time this is haram or all the time this is halal. It depends on the circumstances, if you know what I mean. Again, many questions are flowing with regards to the permissibility of protesting the death of George Floyd in America. Peaceful demonstrations and protests are perfectly legal and from a Sharia perspective, halal as well. That is the right that the Constitution gave you in order to demand your rights. This is how the blacks and the colored people in North America gained independence. And this is the way and the only way nowadays that they're going to stop the police brutality, not only against the colored, against all people, against all civilians. The other day in Buffalo, two police officers, there was a peaceful white male, 70 plus, practicing Catholic, church going person. He was a lone protester walking in the street and they pushed him, the, 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 irrespective of his old age, he's 70 plus. And when he fell on the ground and started bleeding, they did not even pay attention to him, okay? That was very normal to happen before the events which are happening today because they were caught on camera. The two officers were suspended and furthermore, they're arrested now and they're under trial, okay, for, for a great felony. But before that, he was a nonce. So when people have a possible, perfectly legal means to gain the rights, it is halal as well to utilize them. Provided it is peaceful and you avoid anything of haram looting and 